What is my EDC for the beginning of the year 2020? What's going on guys? I hope you are doing great. So I've done a couple of these videos that are on my channel. You guys that are watching now, my old subscribers have already seen them, but I figured I'd do another one. It's been a while, but I just want to talk to you guys and show you what I carry on me, my EDC of the beginning of the year of 2020. So guys, if I sound a little funny, I apologize. I've been doing some sinus stuff for about a week now, so just bear with me, but let's get to it. So what is my EDC right now on me? My EDC does not change that month much, and for about the last year, it has been roughly the same besides a knife. Some of that changed or what kind of flashlight I'm running, but it's mostly the same. So for the longest time, I have been carrying the SIG P365, is why I've carried for over a year now, and it has worked, it is small, it is minimal. I don't like a lot of stuff in my pockets and larger frame firearms carrying, but that is gonna change. So this was the longest time when I've been carrying the 365 and just a Bravo concealment torsion holster. Yes, I know there is great holster companies out here, guys, and I'm looking for some other holsters, but Bravo concealment I have done a little bit of stuff with Bravo concealment and they sent me some free holsters to try and I really appreciate them doing that. So that's what I used to carry. We will talk about what I am carrying now and everything. So what is in my back, nothing stays in my back right pocket, my back left pocket. This is still the same as not changed. Um, I run a lot of Olight stuff. There's a lot other great Flashlights out there, but Olight for handheld lights, it's just hard to beat them. I have a lot of Surefires to carry for work, a couple of Stream Lights and Phoenix, but Surefire and Olight, especially Olight, I seem to always stay with. And this is the S2R Baton 2. Now, I've carried this thing now for around two years. So that has not really changed. It's small. I have a lot of other smaller Olights I carry, but that's most of the one I go to. What is in my, so that's everything in my back left pocket, nothing in my right. Front right pocket is my cell phone, which I'm filming right now. And it's a iPhone 11 Pro Max, that's the name. So that says my right pocket, that is it. Left pocket, I am carrying, this has changed. And I've had this now about six months carrying now. And it has worked, I beat it up. But this is the Spyderco Manix 2. Spyderco makes great products. I usually carry Spyderco, uh, CRKT, Microtech, and Benchmade as my go-tos, but some of those are a little pricey that my Microtech I've showed you. And my CRKT, or my Zero Tolerance, I apologize with Zero Tolerance knives. They're expensive. These are still quite a bit of money. These are around like 100 to $125, I believe. But Spyderco works great, and I have a lot of their knives, and they work, so. I said, I don't like buying crazy expensive stuff now. I've done it before, but try not to do that. It's still, you gotta pay a little bit for high quality stuff, but that stays in my left pocket. What else is in here? Oh, my keys. I just took out my keys, stay in my left pocket, nothing too special of that. I have a, also a Streamlight Nano light on here, the two sets of handcuff keys. So that is my left. Other thing that says my left pocket, which my left front pocket is most of my stuff I carry. I just, I've always done that for some reason. My left pocket is everything except my phone. I don't want to get scratched. I just take my phone out, which I have the most. Other thing in my left pocket though is my wallet, which I'm still running a Ridge. This is one of the FDEs they made. And you can see just from the wear and tear, slotting it around my knife, my extra mag, whatever. This has quite a bit of wear on it now. It's my second ridge. I still have the carbon fiber and love it. And I like the cash strap for the ridge wall. They do have the uh, clip, money clip, but I'm not, it's got caught on my some keys or whatever in my pocket. So that kind of irritated me. So cash strap, ridge wallet. Last thing I keep in my left front pocket is a spare 10 round Glock 43X mag. I still am just running a mag in my pocket and I've had some ups and downs with this. A lot of people have asked me, 
Is it good just throwing a spare mag in your pocket or having the holsters that I said the holster I'm gonna be getting is either gonna be tier one seal or TCX, TXC, correct me if I'm wrong, it's one of those. Um, they have the inside the waistband holsters where you can stick a mag in there. Um, and they make the nano, put the nano clips for these, but I'm just still throwing a 10 round mag in here. And I've trained a little bit with grabbing it out. And I have had a little bit of difficulty when I have all that stuff in my pockets. If this is not positioned how I want it, or if I'm moving a lot, sitting around, it does move. So that is one thing that I need to better my EDC and all my gear on how to train proficiently is get something which is going to probably be a holster or the nano where I can easily access a spare mag if I need to do a mag change if that situation occurs. And the last thing which most people watch these videos for, nothing wrong for it, but they want to see the firearm, what firearm of choice are you carrying? And I am running right now so that I've switched to my 43X, and this is in a, another Bravo concealment torsion holster. So why did I switch to, sorry guys, I don't have a big enough table right here. Why did I switch to the 43X over the 365? 43X is a little bit larger. Yes, I mean, you got the full frame right here, easily grip instead of the 365. I mean, it's, it's a little bit bigger grip. Why did I switch? I use and shoot Glock more. I know more about Glock. I shoot them better. Um, this is simply, I carry a Glock 21, a 45 for, on my body for work. I train mostly when I'm doing a lot of running, gunning, or outside training, or any classes I take and courses, I train with a Glock 19 or a 19X. That is my pistol of choice that I use. So me being so used to Glock, that's why I switched to this, and I shoot this a hell of a lot better than my 365. I've done comparisons and stuff. Wish I had the footage free, but I don't. I shoot this thing better, and this is gonna be what my fiance is gonna carry. I'm gonna get her one as well, get Cerakote, all that. But she shoots this really well too. I mean, it's, everybody asks, what's your first firearm of choice should you get? It, it really just depends, but 90, correct me, but 90% of the people I know, myself included, are gonna say get a Glock 19 for your first firearm, which could be concealed carry, home defense, self-defense, range gun, whatever, nightstand gun, it's, it's overall. So that is why I went to a 43X, just because I am more proficient with this. I've trained with both of them about the same. I've shot that one a little bit more, but I notice I'm more accurate, mag changes, everything, grip, all that stuff. I am better with the 43X than I am the 365. Now me changing to the Glock 43X does not mean I disregard or just whatever my 365, I still use it and I'll put it in a bag sometimes, whatever. But I always try to tell people don't carry so many different pistols or unless you were gonna train with those pistols constantly and proficiently, I hate seeing people that'll carry, say they'll carry 43X for the longest time, that's what they use. Well, then they go out and have a CZ, a SIG, HK, whatever, and they barely even shoot or if not even shot it at all, and just stick it in inside the waistband holster, whatever, and go. Train with what you carry, because at the end of the day, you're gonna have to know everything, if it has a malfunction, whatever the case may be, how to work and manipulate that firearm. So that is why I like Glock, still love my SIGs, my HKs, CZs, but just wanted to change up something a little bit. And if I'm better and more accurate with something and use it more, that's why I'm using a Glock 43X. Anyways, the 43X, that might change here soon, but it's gonna be a Glock. I have been carrying the smaller sub guns now for quite some time. And that is, yes, they're great, that's what they're for. But sometimes I get tired of carrying an extra mag with me or whatever. I mean, 10 rounds is plenty. They make the 12 rounds, the new 15 round from uh, SIG they just put out for the 365. And they have the ETS mags, all that. So these little guns can carry quite a bit of rounds now. But I am probably going to go now into my Glock 19 that I used to carry. Or a 19X, a little bit bigger, a little bit more rounds. Bigger grip, more accurate all that stuff, but I'm probably gonna go to that. But just little guns are easier to carry, and if you're not completely skinny, which I am not the skinniest person as you can see, but smaller guns are easier to carry. And that being said, I carry inside the waistband at my appendix. If 
For those of you that know, the Penix carry depends on the holster you have. Like I said, I've been using Bravo for some of the holsters. God, I'm giving them to me. I'm not paid from Bravo or anything. They give them to me to test out, to keep, whatever, talk about them. So I don't have to praise them. I don't have to bash them, just being honest with their holsters. But I will be going to a bigger gun and having a different holster because the only thing about Bravo is you can't run some lights. They make good stuff for a really good prices. They're very affordable for anyone in the market that has pistols, whatever, that need concealment holster. But bigger holster I'll be running and I can just stick a mag right here in the holster that I'm gonna get. So it'll be a lot easier for me and I'll be training more with that. So instead of having so much stuff in my left pocket, which I always do and just showed you that want that mag's gonna be out and be just in my holster as it is. Another thing that I've noticed from my concealed carry, my EDC gear, that has changed from when I was 21 until three years, four years later, is I've noticed when I first started getting my concealed carry, I was carrying two magazines, I was carrying a massive flashlight, I would carry, say, a fighting knife and a utility knife. I carried so much stuff in my pockets that I did not need. And something that a lot of you guys will say, some of you say yes, some of you say no, is if you're gonna carry a form of protection, a firearm, you need to carry something to stop a bullet or whatever, so a tourniquet. That is one thing I do not carry on me. I've tried for, the long, for a couple times, just trying it out. I just, I'm tired of having so much stuff on me. But that being said, I do carry a crossbody bag that I just recently just got and I carry a bigger gun, uh, an extra mag or two. I carry a bunch of stuff. I carry a set of handcuffs for my work. I carry that. And I also carry my tourniquet and some other stuff. So my everyday carry gear is going to get me from where I am. And say if I need more stuff, it's going to get me to my car, which is going to be near me somewhere in a parking lot. So what I have on my body is going to get me to say that AR that's in my trunk. Or say that bag if i need to grab a tourniquet if i don't have it there i need to stop something i'm screwed but like i said a lot of people carry a tourniquet. if you carry a tourniquet on you and you can fit it great i highly recommend it but for me i have so much stuff in my pockets as it is and it's a pain in the ass to have a tourniquet i've tried the holsters for them i've tried ankle carrying i'm tired of sweat i've tried a lot of stuff so the tourniquet carrying on my body is a pain like i said you can do it rock it go for it but for me i carry that in my bag because in the day, what I'm carrying is for my immediate protection, to people around me, and if I need to get to a long gun or my other bag in my car that has all different medical supplies, other ammunition, firearms, whatever. So I love EDC videos and watching what everybody carries, but it is not something that I'm gonna continue to film a lot unless you guys want me to, because most of it's gonna stay the same, but my EDC that I'll be, it changes very rarely, like I said, but when I get, the 19 or whatever gun firearm of choice I'll be carrying. If you guys want to see another one, let me know. Um, also, I do want to hear from you guys what you guys carry and what you have on now or what you're carrying now. Try to think of, can you do anything better? Do you need this? Or can you grab something extra? Can you fit it on you and not be uncomfortable? So think about this stuff because that is one thing I hate seeing about some people whether it be in the gun industry companies whatever just whatever normal people they i've noticed a lot of people in this industry they try to bash you if you are not doing it their way or what they think is the right way so it's whatever makes you comfortable whatever you can train good with and at the end of the day depend on to save your life the last thing i did not show you i don't feel like taking all the way off and it has not changed the last four years, I'm going to get some more, is my belt. I'm still rocking the blue Alpha Force gear belt. That has not changed. I love their I love their gear. So their belts are good. They make great gun belts. You can get them on Amazon for around $60 to $80. There's a lot of other good companies out there that make belts. Let me know if you have any other good recommendations for me in the comments. I love reading all y'all's guys' comments, whether it be great comments, whether it be bash comments. I read all of them. I don't take anything to heart, so I don't think you're going to hurt my feelings. Guys, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you can, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to me already, and hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload a video. I am getting videos out once a week, sometimes twice a week, depending on my work schedule and everything. 
if you want to and support the show just a little bit more subscribe me over on patreon guys this stuff can get quite a bit expensive filming lighting and ammo and shooting but i do have some sick content coming up for you if you want to see more stuff subscribe to me or check out my instagram account i'll leave that down in the description below but guys thanks again and as always have a good one